What's up guys, this is Adam from 3dmodelsworld.com Welcome to another Maya tutorial and today we're gonna create shakes and vibration into our scene We're gonna add a camera shake as you can see in this video to this scene and also we're gonna create similar effect to apply vibration to our car later on So this is pretty good tutorial will give you some tips uh, and tricks to basically use uh, 3d textures to create noise and vibration and shakes and all these kind of interesting stuff and it's gonna be really fast to do and very easy so without further delay let's get started okay so this is the scene I have you can see I have the Ferrari in the scene it's animated and also the camera is animated as well like a basic animation now let's start adding the camera shake so first let's select the camera and then let's frame on it and uh, before we do any shake on it just make sure we don't want to uh, animate on top of the animation we already have so we have the base animation on the camera here and we don't want to have the shake on top of the current animation we want it to be as a separate so the in order to do that we can group this camera Control g or command g okay so now we have it grouped let's make sure the group pivot is matching the camera pivot so let's select the group let's go modify and then let's go to center pivot and let's make sure also before we do the shake just make sure we select the frame we want the shake to happen so around this 72 that's when we want the camera to start shaking and now we're selecting the group and you can see the pivot is where we put it before so let's go again modify and then center pivot so now the pivot of the group will be here so that's uh, basically the point where it's going to be shaking the camera because we want this pivot point to be uh, matching the camera at that time of the shake otherwise you might have some weird uh, effects happening in your camera okay let's go to the hyper shade and then in order to create the shake let's go into 3d textures and let's uh, there is two uh, 3d textures we can use to create a shake there's a volume noise and there's a solid fractal both can give us uh, pretty good results so let's go with the solid fractal for now and uh, so basically we're gonna take the out alpha values of the animation on the texture and then apply it to the group uh, translation xyz and rotation xyz as well so this way we can have all the information of that noise translated to the animation itself so that would be really good but now if you play like and you look at the texture there's nothing happening in here there's no animation so that's mean there's nothing gonna be affected so in order to change that let's click on animated and then if you scrub through you, you see also there's nothing happening because we still need to do animation the time so this time we need to animate it so this way we can get the uh, result we want so let's go back to time zero and then let's select and add the keyframe and then let's go all the way to 120 where our scene gonna be finished and then set key move it to one and then set key the maximum it can take is one so there's a limitation to this one it's not gonna really match your frame numbers but it's gonna give us pretty good results so now we have uh, the time animated let's go to the graph editor and just see that animation curve on the time let's make sure we have it as a linear so the time is constant and it's not like there's slow in slow out okay so that's good Let's close that and then if we press play, you can see it's animated now. So that's good. So let's stop the animation and then let's go back to our scene. And then let's go now we need to connect the out alpha into the group uh, XYZ. So to do that, we can go to the connection editor, general editors and then connection editor. So let's load the fractal to the left. And then let's select the group camera shake group and load it to the right now we need to look for the out alpha and then we need to scrub down here and look for the translate you can see here it's a grayed out but we can click on this plus and then connect it to the x y and z and then while we're here already let's connect it also the rotation x y and z so now everything is connected let's close and then if you play if we press let's press play and look at the camera so now the camera is 
shaking all the way down. Okay, so let's uh, look at it from the camera point of view now. and So you can see everything is shaking. And that's not what we wanted. We don't want it to be shaking all the time. So to do that, let's go again to the hyper shade. And click on the uh, uh, solid fractal. And then we need to animate the amplitude. So this is basically the strength. Let's select the fractal and then let's move this one. And then we said around 72, we want the shake to start. So let's put the amplitude to zero. And let's go to frame 71. Press add a keyframe. 74, 75, let's make it higher intensity. Add a keyframe. And then around 84, let's put it back to zero and answer the keyframe. Okay, let's minimize and then let's see what we got. So now it's smooth and then shakes. We can have the shake even stronger. So let's go back to the hyper shade and put it all the way with one. And then let's push this uh, frame back to 70. So let's like, give it a little bit more time to start and then fade. And maybe we can give this another frame. This is just, you know, adjusting the timing on this to make it uh, feel more natural. So you can see now when the car passing, the camera shakes uh, in pretty good timing. You can see you can also scrub through like slowly and you can see exactly what's happening. This is how you basically create a camera shake. So now let's create something else. Let's create, uh, let's add some vibration to the car. So let's go back to frame zero and then I want to select the controls. And let's frame on it. For now I just want to mute the animation on the car. So I select the main controller. I select all the controls here and then I just said click mute selected so this way the car will not move and let's also hide our scene just to make things lighter okay so now what we can do we can do this so now we can use the same method that we created for shaking the camera to apply vibration into the car itself so let's do that so let's go to the hyper shade and let's clear the graph and this time instead of using fractal let's try a different 3 d texture and let's create a volume noise okay now we have the volume noise and the good thing about volume noise uh, you can see here there's this time so this time it can take any number you want like you can put it thousand and still will be fine so that's a good thing. So basically we can connect our scene time into the time of this noise. So you could either animate it uh, the same way we did with the fractal. You just key it and you go to one frame 120 and key it again. Or what you can do if you click on the display, DAG objects only, and then you scroll all the way down, you're going to see this time. So this is for our scene time. And now what we can do, we can go to the connection editors. And then we have the time here and then let's select the noise and let's add it to this side. Let's click out time and connect it into time. So this way it's basically taking this, the scene time and apply it to the noise. So now when you press uh, play, you can see it's just going to keep going as long as your scene uh, is, which is pretty good. Uh, and then what we need to do is connect the noise out alpha with the car uh, controller. This basically controller controls the car uh, body. So this will help us to add all the vibration to the car body. So let's do that. So let's go back to the connection editor. And let's uh, make sure the volume noise to the left. And let's uh, click the car controller and load it to the right. And the same thing applies. We click the out alpha. 
and for the car controller let's select the rotations or rotations so now uh, let's minimize the hyper shade and let's press play so now you can see the car is moving too fast so we can tone this down it's the same thing to tone it down we just tone down the amplitude and also let's change the noise type from below to parent noise you can experiment with these settings like every one of them it's uh, add some uh, unique effects to the vibration but for now let's just tone it down so you can see now it's like uh, the car is is like running and you can apply that like if the car is like you know on a rough terrain or just the car is just starting out you can always like uh, customize the amplitude tone it down or increase it based on the situation you are in and you know like this technique applied to so many things like not just those two cases that I showed you guys like apply to lots of different things so you can use your imagination basically to figure out like what scenarios you can use this uh, technique to apply to your scenes and also like it help you speed up some uh, process because in, if you want to do this manually and just try to figure out like what's the good timing to do it sometimes could take time and especially camera shakes as well could take time as well so it's a really good way to speed up the workflow of uh, creating shakes and vibrations and will give you pretty natural results so hopefully this tutorial help you guys let me know if you have any questions and please subscribe for more future videos until next time take care